Hi everyone, this is Stefano from Software Design Channel and this little guy here is Fred and Fred is a nice and simple cartoonish character that I have made just for you and you can download this model and the entire Blender scene joining my Patreon page. Fred will help me showing you how I usually create my animation. I decided to show you step by step my creation process. So after the concept and the basic modeling in this video I will show you how to add some face expression using shape keys animation in Blender. Let's take this UV sphere, add a shape key in the object data menu and in edit mode I can change its shape and then Blender will do the magic for us. So shape keys are a powerful way to animate the interpolation between two different topologies on the same mesh object. So let's add a basis a shape key and a new shape key for our Fred character here and in the new one we will uh, make some change. So entering edit mode I want to uh, go where uh, in this case in the mouth area because I want to start by making the uh, mouth closed shape. I turn on the uh, proportional tool and because I will move the down lip I want to have my cursor in this position so I can change the rotation pivot point to 3D cursor and selecting some vertices in this area I use the Ctrl and plus on the numpad to uh, grow my selection and then I choose the one that I need and playing around with the mouse wheel I can uh, make my proportional influence area bigger or smaller and then it's just a matter of uh, moving, rotating and maybe scaling those uh, vertices in the best way that we can in order to get the new uh, mesh shape. Once we have done, we can test moving the interpolation slider, the value between the two uh, shape keys in order to see what's going on. And we can make some further adjustment. I want this uh, upper lip to also move a little bit down. something like this I also uh, forgot to mention that I turn on the X mirror option so I can move only one side of my mesh because in this case it's quite symmetrical what I'm doing even if at the end you will see that I always love to add some variation I hate symmetrical things I think that life is not symmetrical so you will see that uh, the, the, the end details that I will add to my basic shapes are always some kind of uh, asymmetrical uh, aspect so I don't want that the left side is a perfect copy of the right side. So here I'm just adjusting some topology issues that sometimes comes out when you are moving uh, the vertices and once again I'm trying to test the result.
one thing that I do here is selecting the teeth and I can do this only selecting one face for each of them and then pressing Ctrl and L I can select all the island together. Finally, I move a little bit down this teeth here and also the other one, if I remember well, only to adjust a little bit. So we have our first shape key in place. We can close the mouth. Let's add another one. And this time I want to start from the closed mouth. So I uh, select the new shape that I just created and I choose uh, uh, create from mix and this allow me to start when I enter edit mode I start from the last shape key and in this case that I want to make a simple smile was more easy because I can start from this uh, from this part and one important thing to remember is to put back to zero the first one otherwise the two shape keys will somehow overlap blender will try to interpolate them all together and in some case can we can get some interesting and funny result but uh, most of the case they are not supposed to do this in a proper way so uh, here I am finishing the this simple smile and I'm just adjusting some points and I want also to move all this uh, lower body part because otherwise when well, maybe later we will add some texture to the skin I don't want that this part will stretch too much so I mm, proportionally move all the area uh, around the mouth so I finished I guess this second shape here and I add another one and this time I want to make a bigger smile so a smile with the mouth more open and a smile where you can see the teeth one important thing maybe you don't know is the uh, in the proportional tool we have this option uh, only connected vertices and it's a very powerful tool in for example in this case that I am moving the lower lip vertices and I don't want to touch the upper lip so with this option on uh, Blender will move only the vertices that are direct connected between them so even if the upper lip vertices are very close and inside the influence area of my proportional tool they won't be affected by the movement in other cases you maybe want to switch this option off in order to be sure that you move all the vertices in your area <laughs> well, my poor English is sometimes is really not enough but okay I, I really hope that you can follow by also watching the video and um, yeah now I'm just uh, giving a proper name to all these uh, shapes that I created so, of course, it's always very important to keep your uh, scene well organized. Giving the proper name to each one of your shape keys will make your animation process much easier later. Now I will add a new and last shape keys for the uh, screaming face because our friend will uh, fall face on the floor in uh, the animation that I made. So I want him to scream and to look very scared in the last frames of the animation and while you are watching me uh, finishing the last shape key 
I want to tell you that in the next video I will show you how to properly rig our character and make him uh, ready for the animation. I will use the Rigify add-on that comes uh, for free inside Blender and that's a very powerful tool. I will show you how to uh, edit and add bones to the basic template. For example, I will use uh, some tentacles, uh, chain bones to animate the hair of my character here. And then once we have the rig, we will start the weight painting process that's essentially making the mesh move in a proper and a perfect way balancing the, all the weights that each bone has uh, on the vertices of our mesh. And after this I will start to animate and show you how I create my animation. So we have a lot to do. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if so leave a like and a comment. I will be very happy to uh, hear some question or some request that you may have. I remember you that you can download this character and the entire scene visiting my Patreon page and as always I thank you for watching my videos. Have a great day and see you soon with the next one. Ciao!